This is Matthew Cratter from Trade University. And today I want to talk about crypto YouTubers and their scams. A common comment that I get on my videos is something similar to what RS is saying right here. Bitcoin maxis are shamelessly trying to get people to panic buy Bitcoin in order to pump their own bags. Sad and pathetic. Now I should point out, I think I pointed this out before, but obviously Bitcoin has a giant market cap over a trillion, maybe 1.2 trillion at this point. And really nothing that I can say on this channel will have any impact on its price. Further, those of you who watch this channel know that I plan on never, ever, ever selling my Bitcoin. So this is not a, an example of pump and dump. But what I think a lot of people who criticize Bitcoin maximalists like myself miss out on, and it's a really obvious thing when you're behind the scene, but I don't think they're quite as aware as they should be about the really easy way to make money investing um, in altcoins through a YouTube channel. And it's not by promoting Bitcoin. The real money is made in promoting altcoins. This is a dirty secret that, again, should be apparent to most people, but I still get uh, questions about these coins, so I thought I'd go into it a little bit today. I could easily make an extra $200,000 a month promoting very shady things on this YouTube channel. And again, that's per month. That's not per year. Prom promoting various altcoins, various shady trading exchanges, trading bots that don't really work. I'll give you an example of a few of these emails. And I've left everything open here. You can see the date. This was September 2021. You can see the person who emailed me. These are all scammers and bad people. Feel free uh, to send them a message if you want. Uh, that's, of course, that's, of course, up to you. But here's Nick Lasko asking me to pump Nobility token. Next email. And again, I get, I get tons of these every single day. Here's someone uh, emailing me about Bitsgap and the grid a grid crypto trading bot. Here's someone else from Pionex, some crypto exchange, and they want me to pump their, it looks like it's the same trading bot, grid trading bot, and they want to offer me $10,000. This is a paid in tether in order to do this. And so what a lot of people don't realize is that this is the real way. If, you, if you're interested in pumping and you want to make a lot of money on your YouTube channel, um, this is the way to do it. And what's very interesting about this email is that he tells me, Mario tells me all the other channels that are already doing this. Uh, so for example, Vosk Coin, if you take a look at his videos, he's always pumping altcoin and uh, he was presumably paid by Mario as well. Again, this is just an email I received. I don't know if this is actually true. I'm sure Vosk Coin is a great person in real life and very trustworthy. But I did get this email saying that he's getting paid to pump all of these uh, all these trading bots. But of course, Brutus is an, is an honorable man. Those of you who've read Julius Caesar will know what I'm talking about. Here's another another example. I, I don't mean to pick on these people because I could, I could literally list hundreds of people like this. This is Moon Girl uh, on Twitter. Let's be besties. I'm just here to have fun and help push the ecosystem forward. She's not only having fun and pushing the ecosystem forward, but she's also getting paid at the same time. She basically, at least according to this tweet, again, I don't know if this is true, but she pumped uh, Isla, Isla Inu, I think I'm saying it right. This is kind of a, a meme cross between Island Boys and Shiba Inu. It's very hard to keep up with these things these days because there's a new, a new rug pull every day. But she was basically paid by the creators of Isla Inu. They gave her 1% of the supply in exchange for pumping it. And then there was some disagreement. They decided they had paid her too much. They wanted to send her ETH. And then she said she was having anxiety, at least according to this tweet. Again, I don't know if this is true. This is just something I read on Twitter. And she dumped $100,000 worth of these tokens on her followers. You'll, you'll notice one thing that all these people have in common. They never discuss Bitcoin. They're not interested in monetary policy, monetary history. They're not interested in, uh, in ushering in a new civilization. And this is fine. People should be free to do what they want, but other people should also be free to uh, sort of show the public what's going on behind the scenes, especially especially with these uh, meme coins. Again, I don't know if any of this is actually true. I'm sure Moon Girl is a great person in real life and uh, Brutus is an honorable man as well. The most recent uh, really scandalous uh, token was of course Squid Game. Uh, we can see a video here from just a couple of days promoting it, going to the moon, 100x coin 
uh, coin rewards. And even, even CNBC was sort of pumping this coin by alerting everyone to how much it was up, uh, 240 uh, 2,400 percent in the last 24 hours. And this is really not doing a service, not that CNBC has done a service to anyone in a very long period of time, but they didn't do their due, gel due diligence. Uh, Squidgame.cash, which is the website that was associated with this token, had been registered really recently. Obviously, it was based on a recent pop culture uh, reference, as a lot of these scams often are. If you took a, a look at the white paper, I didn't, I didn't look at it myself, but there was a lot of talk online that it was full of misspellings and bad grammar. It also included a, a clearly fake endorsement from Elon Musk. So this really had basically everything you could ask for from a scammy meme coin. Here's a, a, a screenshot of the website from Gizmodo, Elon Musk shilled for Squid, Squid Game, and it actually has a fake tweet saying that Squid Game is, uh, is going to the moon or something like that. Now, in spite of all this, uh, it does look like CoinMarketCap did do their due diligence, and at least they were able to report that users have were were able to buy uh, were able to buy SquidCoin, but then were not able to sell it. And I guess all this trading was being done on PancakeSwap, which is one of these decentralized exchanges built on, uh, I believe it's built on Ethereum. And so there there was there were these warnings. This was up for a while on CoinMarketCap, but unfortunately, a lot of people got rug pulled and hurt very badly, coined down 99.99%. Uh, 99, uh, the number one rule, as we know from Warren Buffett, never lose money, never forget rule number one. And this is one of the problems with these tokens. You can make a huge amount of money in a very short period of time, but the problem is if you keep rolling that money in again and again, the odds are, especially if you don't know what you're doing and you're following Moon Girl or Voscoin, the odds are you're gonna end up getting rug pulled Eventually, here's a, a pretty funny video that's been uh, that's been circulating about a guy who was pumping squid and showing it, uh, I believe, on his YouTube channel or on some sort of stream, and then the coin. So the market fire. cap is two point one six eight trillion. So I should point out too that this is um, this guy doesn't know the difference between a billion and a trillion. If he just did a reality check, a coin valued at two trillion, Bitcoin's only valued at one trillion. So he doesn't know the difference between his billions and his trillions, but watch what happens next. Dollars. And now the mark, oh! Oh, it went to zero! Yo! That scream is going to be echoing through my brain for a couple days. Basically, the uh, the squid squid uh, tokens went from so somewhere above two thousand down to zero in a matter uh, in a matter of seconds, and scammers made off with at least two million dollars. You can read more about it in this Gizmodo article. I don't even cover these because they happen every single day, almost every single day. There's another uh, there's another attack or hack or exploit on uh, in in the world of DeFi, which is built. On Ethereum, here's Cream Finance, the most recent one, exploited in a flash loan attack, and $130 million worth of assets were drained off. If you want to follow these, it's uh, it's a little bit depressing, but you can you can go to Rect.News, where they compile the whole list of uh, all these all these DeFi uh, these DeFi exploits. So, what are the conclusions here? The conclusions here, first of all, obviously. If you're talking about Bitcoin and monetary history, it's not the fastest way to get rich on YouTube. Second, Ethereum has always been the best platform out there for scammers and pump and dumpers. It really comes from the uh, the high time preference of many of its uh, investors and builders. Of course, uh, Vitalik has already dumped like a quarter of his his ether on people. Satoshi never sold. Uh, this is this is the difference between founders who are really in it for the long term and founders who want to uh, cash out into uh, into fiat. Meanwhile, Bitcoiners are trying to fix the money and usher in this new civilization that's built on a, a neutral, decentralized, pure form of money, a form of money that's completely free from central bankers and oligarchs. And this is one of the reason I'm a bit one of the reasons I'm a Bitcoin maximalist. I don't want Solana VC investors. I don't want Vitalik and I don't want uh, these companies that basically have marketing teams that pay YouTubers to pump their garbage. I don't want these people in charge of the new civilization. The Federal Reserve, the existing system we have, is 
corrupt enough. And uh, I think I, I, if we're going to replace the currency, we need to replace it with something that's truly decentralized, that's not Dino, that's not decentralized in name only. And I want a new neutral form of money that's not controlled, uh, that's not controlled by anyone. And Bitcoin really, it had the immaculate conception. It's the only coin out there where the founder is no longer in charge of the, of the project and uh, it didn't have a pre-mine, it didn't have a pre-sale, it didn't have all these VC investors loading up on tokens before they were available to you. It really is uh, the most neutral, decentralized form of money. So when you watch, uh, when you hear people criticizing Bitcoin maxis, I want you to keep in mind these pump and dump schemes and how much of these coins, these altcoins, are really being driven by the marketing budget of uh, the parent companies. Even though they pretend they're decentralized, they seem to magically have money to pay YouTubers uh, or to offer to pay YouTubers like myself. Meanwhile, I will remain uh, a Bitcoin maximalist. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.